Hello, it is Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis, and it is Friday. That means it's Whip Trip Friday, and I, got, I just remembered I got to write down Whip Trip Friday today. So if you have your pictures, just remember, put them in the gallery. Um, I think you can do exclamation point Whip Trip or Whip Trips. Somebody, somebody do it in the in the chat so we can we can know what to do. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. Okay, I think that you can. There we go. See, Rumble's already got it. He's got it good. Wait, is my music playing? I can barely hear it. Yeah, it's playing. You guys can hear it okay? Let me turn it up a skosh. Is that too loud? If that needs to go lower, let me know. Okay. If that's too loud, let me know. I'm going to turn my own music up. There we go. How's everybody doing? It's Friday. 
Yay. Looks like people have been having a good week and we're almost to the weekend. So that's good. Some of you guys are already in the evening of your weekend. Sight and sound all good? Awesome. So today we are going to be painting this commission from N. Lamunis. So um, I don't know if you can see this, but her little eagle thing is broken off. But I'm going to end up re-sculpting it. I have to wait until the hair is done and then I'm going to do it. Yep, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to paint on this model. I've got her hair right here. I've got her little lion pedestal that she has. I don't really get this back part. I guess it works. And this is from Chimera, Chimera Miniatures, by the way. You can do Get Notice 2, I think, if you want to. This is the phoenix that goes behind her. Now, color-wise, I'm going really off book with this. I'm going to show you what the box art looks like, and ours is going to look very different. Hold on a second here. Bear with me. Yeah, there we go. I'm painting the fire. That's, that, that'll send you to, directly to the website. That link right there, get noticed too. So, let's see. All right. Let's do a whip trip. There we go. Here we go. This is what the box art looks like right here. And you can see she's got red cloth. She's got the pedestal is like ravaged. Thank you for subscribing for seven months. Thank you so much. I'm going to write down your, your name real quick, Ravage. Ooh, that is bright. Look at that. Subscribers. My pen is dying. Hold on. Do I have another pen? Maybe not. This is the pen I used yesterday. Or the, oh, here it is. This is the good pen. Here we go. Ravage. S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E-R-S. -S -E Hearts. Boop. And then Ravage. Ravage 21. 121, actually. There we go. Hi, Lucy Faye. Lucy Lefe. How are you doing? I'm doing good. All right, let's explain. So there's a couple things I need to do. I need to sort of reprime. She's got a scratch on her booty. She's got extra, extra black paint that I need to smooth out. So I'm debating, let's see, what should I do? Probably let's go with the white first. Yeah, let's go with the white first. I'm trying to think if I want to do white or gray first. Awesome. That sounds so great. What are you, what is your major going to be in Lucy LaFay? She's just uh, applied for an MA program. That's amazing. Master of Arts. All right. I think I'm going to go with the gray first. This is our gray primer, primer from Steinal Res. I apologize for the, this paper towel is blowing out my whites. As you can see, everything is pretty dark. I don't want you to be able to see things. We might have to turn down the contrast a little bit. Okay. I already put a little thinner, you can see it at the bottom, in my cup. So it is all ready to go. As you know, we don't put... I just need a little bit. I just put just a little bit. And then I'm going to stir that in. Lucy, what's your MA in? Oh, publishing. Ooh, going into fiction. That's cool. Now, I don't know if you're in Europe or the UK, but I, in the US, I don't, I don't know how much does it help you to have an MA in publishing? Does it help? Okay, so I guess you're gonna be publishing fact, fiction, so you need that. All right, I'm blowing here real quick. It's just, there we go. Now I'm gonna put my mask on. I should have put that on first. Yes, that is exciting times. All right, there we go. My mask, my headset is off, so I won't be able to hear any alerts or anything. But hopefully I will be able to see them. And you guys can hear me okay, right? With the mask on, good. 
All right, we're gonna move this out of the way because we don't want any overspray on either one of those. There we go. Oi, oi! How are you, Inky John? First, I'm just gonna start with the paint on her booty because if I can get that finished right away. See, it's already working really nice. See that? I'm going, I am going to use this as her skin tone. I think I will. Okay. Everything else looks good, I think. Let's do it a little bit. Hello, people of Shoshi's room. Shoshi says, I need to swap to iPad, so I'll have a second delay, but my chat will be correct. Okay, that sounds fine to me. Okay, I'm just doing the extra. Let's not let this roll around. That would not help my cause. Okay, now we're going to do the face. Okay, we're almost to the end. Is it blowing? It is not really blowing. Oh, you know why? Because there's a giant... Can you guys see that? When sometimes that happens, you have to take that off. There, now we're back. Hi, Lemonis. Guess what we're doing? Does this look familiar, Lemonis? Lemonis. Okay. Nope, not at all. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do another spray on her face and neck. Oh, do you hear that? That is the sound of drying paint. And I don't want drying paint on her face or body. Okay, so that looks very smooth and very nice so far. Okay. Now, I'm gonna, ooh, do you see the bubbles? That means it's, there's a clog. That is not good. I need to, let's see, do I have a little Dixie cup? I do, ha ha. Hello, Carlos, how are you doing? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some thinner in my little Dixie. Cup. Technically, this is not a Dixie cup. It's a, um, what is it? It's a condiment cup. You can get them at the grocery store. Super cheap. All right, hold on. That'll work. There we go. All right, so now I'm just going to put water in here. And I'm going to dump it in my garbage. And I'm going to keep doing that. So that comes more clean. You went to the zoo. Is it, are, are zoos open right now, Rumble? I guess you guys don't have as big of a problem with the virus as we do in the U.S. The U.S. has been pretty bad. So I guess maybe it's safer. All right, I'm going to put this in there. All right, I need my dump pot, which we already have ready to go.
It's open, but lots of good safety precautions in place. Awesome. That's really good to hear. I'm glad. I am I am not as risk risk uh what do you call it? Risk tolerant as you guys. I guess part of it's that whenever I get sick, I will get bronchitis. I have asthma in my family. And so I am actually nervous about actually getting sick. So I try to stay away from crowds if I can help it. Alright. See how that is starting to clean up really fast? We did all that water. I like the water. It doesn't clean as fast um, as the spray through, but it's cheaper because you can have as much water as you need. All right, now this is the spray through. This is from Badger as well, so I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Spray that through before I put my white in because I want my white. I want it to be really white. Hottest day of the year, so you went to the beach. Zoo is fairly quiet. Oh, that's nice. Good. Don't get, don't tell everybody or everybody's going to start going. <laughs> right? All right. So there. Now we need. Hmm. So. This, I'm going to set aside for a second. And I'm going to work on this hair. Because I'm going to show you what I'm going for. So this is what I'm going for with my hair. Just the tips are going to be hot yellow. This top part is going to be like a dark, deep purple or black or burgundy. We'll see. I think we'll work up to it. I also think I need to zenithal the whole thing with the white. I think that is what needs to happen. Because then I can, I can layer in those hot colors really nice so we put some thinner 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 chicken dinner it's going to be wonderful you wish you could do your hair like that <laughs> i know right okay shake 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 this is the white from steinal resin i love it i don't even use white paint through an airbrush anymore because it's like a waste of my time Let's do this. There we go. So that thinner is going to mix with that paint. And now it will go through really smooth. And I, what I want before I even start doing anything is I'm going to make a soft. I want a soft white. There we go. Soft white ball. Can you, can you even see it? Yeah, you can see it. All right. So um, let's just let's just start. And we'll get lighter and lighter as we get to the ends of the hair. And let's start with it. Let's do zenithal so that way we'll catch that shadows. See how it's catching the shadows? Hi, Aspiringly. How are you doing? Okay, now I'm gonna. Okay, now I wanna do this all over before I get too ahead of myself. Can you hear me waiting waiting for the compressor to catch up? Alright, so this is getting beautiful. Okay, so now that we've got things are getting more again we're doing the same angle for all the hair and let me get the top here all right now that I've got everything primed started I'm gonna lighten up the ends 
and I'm gonna go let's see we need look at that can you see that there is paint so we're gonna get into our little thing here get that paint off I have some dental um, what you call them those work better but this is gonna work in a pinch thank you aspiringly okay are you working on anything cool lately aspiringly all right so let me get these let's get the ends dental paint so yeah let me show you hold on i'll show you if i find down here no 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 it's always going to be where i can't find them you know where are they? Are they looking at their airbrush stuff? Mm, okay, I know. Don't worry, I'll find them. I'll find them. Oh, that didn't go there. Ah. So, they're like a tiny brush on the end of a little on the end of a little plastic stick. Do I not even have one to show you? In my little drawer of... drawer of holding. I have a drawer of holding. Oh, man. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna find it. Hmm. Nope. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to have to buy some more dental picks so I can show you. Because I don't see them anywhere. So I your dental torches, torture devices. Here, I'll show you. Uh, let me see if I can Google it. Show it to you guys. This is funny. Um. <laughs> Target. Let's just do Target and see. So it's these little guys, kind of. It's not this brand. Hang on. I will show you. It's not that brand, but it's the same deal. Let's see where you can. Okay, there we go. See how it has a little brush on the end of it, and it's the perfect size. And you can buy these in packs you know so what a landfill nightmare right okay but anyway you get my idea that's what they are <laughs> all right we're gonna go back Is that blockage? Com it is common, especially with white desert wolf. White is very easy because it dries fast. So, you know what? Just because of that, I'm going to put... I have this thing. I call it my... I call it thinner cocktail. It has a little bit of drying retarder. It has a little bit of airbrush thinner. And a little bit of airbrush medium. And I'm just going to put a few drops. I don't want to thin it too much. And that should help. Zombie toast! Hi, how are you? Okay, now we can rinse this brush real quick. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now, so let's see if it sprays through any, so it is a little bit easier. You can't quite see it. Let me see if I can spray it on something dark. See, that spray's nice. All right, we're going to go for the ends of the hair to try to get them nice and bright. See how I, I want those bright. So far. Alright, same thing on the other side. Let's 
see how I'm getting the ends of the hair. Once you're done, can you tell me what you usually keep your PSI set around? Yeah, usually it's between two and three. Honestly, I don't pay a ton of attention to my PSI if it's coming out the, the amount of quickness that I like. Does that make sense? Like I don't, I don't adjust it a ton. So I'm just trying to get the, it is coming out a lot smoother now. It's not clogging. Ooh, it did speckle a little bit. Let's see if I can get that worked up real quick. Yep. I don't want speckle. No speckle. Rosie LeFay, thank you so much for subscribing. Two months in a row. Wow. Thank you guys. Give some hype. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Thank you so much. So yeah, it's usually my PSI is set between the two and the three. If, I hope that makes sense. So first, I'm just getting that soft blend so that when I get lighter and lighter, it won't look crazy. Get all the angles. You see how I'm turning, turning it to try to angle it? Okay. Good. We don't want a ton up here, but we do want those curls, those little curls at the end to be nice and fiery. Okay. Now I'm going to go in a little bit higher, a little bit. Hi, Heather's Chicken. How are you? Ben for one. Hello. There we go. Now we're getting more intense. More intense. I see something. Hold on one second. I see this looks like a little, I don't know what this is. Oh, you know what this is? This is like a broken off piece. Oh, well. Hmm. And now that things are being primed, I'm starting to see some mold lines. Lamunas, how choosy are you about your mold lines? Because I can hide them or we can go in and fix them. Whatever you want me to do. Fixing them will mean needing to re redo everything. We can get the really obnoxious ones though. Okay. What? More lines? <laughs> what? John, thank you for helping us with our shipping donation. Look at, we made it. Let's give some hype, guys. Everybody for John. That's so awesome. Yay! <laughs> no problem. Awesome. I do really appreciate that. <laughs> yes, hypes, hypes. So we'll be able to do our giveaway for the 16th of this month, that means. Okay, I'm just trying to get even brighter. 
Did we have a giveaway for the first? We didn't because I didn't stream on the first. So we didn't have the shipping for that either. Well, we also did we also did more than one giveaway last month. So I'm not too worried about it. We did a few. All the hypes, yeah. All right, I'm getting almost up to white, white for some of these tails with little things up here. See how we're getting really bright? Oh my goodness. Let me fix that. Hold on, we've got kind of insane brightness. Give me a second, I'm gonna fix that. Sorry about that. Stop the keys. Sometimes white will blow out my, blow it out. Okay, configure, there we go. Let's set that to a little bit more. Less exposure. Whoa, there we go, that's better. Is that easier to see for you guys now? A little bit less exposure. Let me check something here. Now it's harder to see the black, but you can still see, you can still see it. Okay. All right, let me make sure this is correct. I'm gonna do the gain just a little bit more. There we go. And you can see. Yeah, that's much better. Sneaky, hi, how are you? It's been a minute. All right, so let's do a little bit more white. That's probably as good enough. You're doing good? You think you have sunstroke? Oh no, it's hot. That is very warm. Water. Okay. Jump. Did you go out in the sun a lot? I know, like, I bet you, in, is is the Netherlands, are you used to 37, are you, it is hot, yeah, did, are you used to 37 degree weather in the Netherlands? Seems like it's pretty warm to be for that far north. Nope, not at all, I know. Is it also humid or is it dry? Because at least if it's dry, it won't be quite as unbearable. Normal's around 23, oh my goodness, that's such a big difference, humid. So like Illinois is like that. See, this is going down. Illinois, we used to joke around that it's like walking around in somebody's mouth, you know, cause it's so humid and hot, not fun. All right, so do you guys see this layer of paint? I'm gonna try to pull this up and out without getting it everywhere. Yeah, it is gross, I know. <laughs> I know. It's accurate though. <laughs> and in the winter, it's so cold that your nose hairs will freeze because we're in that polar vortex here in Illinois. Do you ever have that? Oop, I just like white paint at myself. All right, we're getting this out. All right, a little bit more spray through cleaner. Now, do you see, you can kind of see little chunkies floating. Don't, don't spray that through your airbrush. Make sure there's no little chunks. There, see, now it's clean. <laughs> and where'd the dump pot go? Doo -doo -doo. 
spray that all the way through. There's some more pieces I gotta get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna use, see if it, I think we're pretty clean on this. Let me see. There, ooh, there's paint still on my, on my needle. Hot and humid, it's generally not fun. No, agree. Not fun. How is uh, where you're at, Painting Cricks? Is the weather? I don't know. It's been really nice here. I've been I've been watching. So you guys know I got a bird garden. Um, I've been I started um, nature journaling. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. It's really cool. So I've been journaling what birds and butterflies and insects that I've seen in my backyard ever since I started doing this. All right, I want to show you. This is the image that I'm kind of using as my guide for my... It's, this is Pele. She's a Hawaiian um, fire goddess, a lava goddess, volcano, right? So we probably want to start with the lightest colors, the lightest, brightest yellow. And I'm going to use the Chimera. Well, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to try to mix in my little cuppy cup a little bit of this orange yellow and see what, what I can get. I'm going to take yellow I need, a, I need a decent amount of it. Today's not too bad. We've been having a lot of thunderstorms but when it's not raining it's hot humid which is gross. Oh that stinks. And I'm going to take just a touch of yellow or sorry, this is orange. This is transparent orange. I'm just gonna put one drop. One drop of orange. There we go, just one drop. And that is gonna hopefully make my warm yellow. Yes, see, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful warm yellow for my fiery hair. That's all it needed was a little bit of that. Okay, so where's my cup? And my thinner. Ooh, that's too much thinner. Dump some of that out. Put this in the cup. Get some more. Okay, that's probably plenty. You don't need a lot of yellow. Yellow will go a long way. We're going to put a little thinner in there. Actually, no, I lied. We're going to use that cocktail because it's got the drying retarder and the airbrush medium. I just need a little drop of that. Let's see what happens. I used to only use that cocktail. That's all I used to use. Uh-oh. Okay, that's perfect. We're going to make a glaze to glaze over all of our white now. It's very difficult to paint yellow without an airbrush, in my opinion. Let's make a little circle. See, that, that's the thinner coming through. So now we're going to have a, a small, perfect glaze, just like that. Now, what happens when you have white plus yellow? You get a pastel yellow. So we're going to have to do a few, um, a few um, layers of this. And not try to get it all at once. Because if we try to get it all at once, it's not going to work. It's, it's still pretty interesting colors. Raid incoming. What's happening? Who's raiding? Are we getting raided? Well, let me know because I don't see one yet. Oh, from Wormwood. Oh, that'd be awesome. Well, I'll keep my eye open. Thanks for the warning. Everybody get ready. If we're going to get raided, I want everybody to to spam gecko yes prepare gecko defense 
<laughs> we have a raid emote. If you have a sub, if you have a sub level two or three, we have a raid emote now. Yep. I'll show you this. There's like a hundred and jeez, that is a lot. Wormwood is. I used to work with them. This is my new raid emote, like that. Prepare the gecko defense. Okay, so you see how that's getting brighter? Oh my gosh, Wormwood Gaming. Okay, defend, defend. Oh my goodness. That's quite a big raid, holy cow. Guys, hello, welcome. Yay. Oh my goodness, thank you for following Wormwood Gaming. So, for those of you who don't know, Hold on a second. I just have to take off my airbrush mask. Welcome, everybody. Oh my gosh, Diabolical Dabbler. This is going to be funny because I made this too big on this screen, so maybe I should switch. <laughs> I have airbrush marks. Thank you for following Zeke Tycoon. We've got a lot of followers. Oh my gosh. Evil Morty, Z Tycoon, Gormer. Is that how I say your name, Gormer? Greg. Oh my gosh, this worm of gaming. Dial Diabolical Dabbler, Ark. Wow. Thank you for following Mini Splat. Mini Splat. Oh my gosh, where is everybody coming from? Yay. Nathaniel Lachlane. White Rose Gaming. Hi everybody, I'm Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis. Wow, wow, zombie. Oh my gosh, she just gifted. Or that he did, they, <laughs> they just gifted five subs. Thank you so much, zombie. Odin Mercer. Yay. We're from Worm, Wormwood Gaming. Aw, oh, this is great. This is really great. Look at these marks on my face. Okay, a bunch of you just, a bunch of you just got sub, sub subscriptions to the channel. Welcome, everybody. So, Mike Manzo, Gravity. 1310, Rotten D, Pendrake TG, and Desert Wolf, 978. You all got subs for the channel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I want to thank everybody. Broken Canaan, NASA Boy, 1987. Shanina, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Shanina Gas, I think. This is huge. <laughs> Owen Mercer, Nathaniel Lachlan White. Okay, I got it. I think I got everybody. Let's. Once everything calms down, I will show everybody what we're painting. Hold on, let me grab the model. It's very cool. So this, this is a model. There we go. Much smaller. This is how big that that animation's supposed to be on the other page. But for whatever reason, it got enlarged, and I haven't fixed it. It's funny. Yep, they were painting this fire elemental from Chimera. You can go to the link and check her out. And we're in the process of painting her fiery hair. Gravity, thank you for subscribing. Oh, that's the same. That's the gift as have. All right. And so we're painting the yellow ends of her fiery hair with airbrush right now. So we're doing an airbrush demo. I'm just going to show off some other models real quick since we've got a bunch of new followers. This is a Kingdom Death model I just recently finished. Super cute. This is another Kingdom Death model. If you've ever played that game, it's really awesome. This one's meant to look like kind of like a Harry Potter kind of figure. It's really cute. I like that. Non-metallic metal. Fall rats, thank you for following Dune, Dunic OKC. Thank you for following. And then we just also recently painted this goblin, NASA boy. This guy is from Dead Dead Earth Games. So he's they're doing a Kickstarter right now, and he's one of the Kickstarter rewards. We just did a, a stream about him, and then I just recently also painted this. This little sexy man here, he is um, from Top Hat Gaming. This is a 3D sculpt that he sent me. 
Thank you, Sid was here. Welcome. You're only just beginning your mini hobby. That's awesome. I began painting minis professionally in 2015. And so now, total party killer. Thank you for following. <laughs> uh, I like that name. Um, so I just, you know, I've been painting for about five years professionally. I've been partnered on Twitch for about three years. And I've been streaming on Twitch for near four, don't you think? You're a professional artist too, Evil Morty? What, what medium? I began um, in watercolor. I was a professional watercolorist before I started doing this. Yeah. And I, I switched when my gallery closed because I was starting to get a little burnout. I was in the process of making a brand new portfolio to send to different galleries. And then um, I got my Reaper Bones Kickstarter in the mail and I got a little bit distracted. All right, the, the mask is back on and I'm gonna do some more airbrushing while I talk to you guys. Because otherwise, the paint is gonna dry on my airbrush and I won't be able to finish. There you go, so we're gonna, we're gonna just clean that off real quick because that's gonna clog if we don't. Minis are the best kind of distraction, I know. Watercolor is your favorite medium. Oh, Sid. I know, I love watercolor. I haven't done it in five years, I'll be honest though, because it, it just, you know, it's a personal thing. I just wanted to focus on minis. And as a business, as an artist, you kind of have to kind of avoid what we call creative schizophrenia, where you're doing every single possible, Captain Obvious, thank you for following every single possible medium and so I wanted to focus and really get good at minis so that's what I did so right now I'm airbrushing the ends of her hair to be this warm yellow looks like we might need to add a little bit more orange because it's good it's yellow but it's not yellow enough yet okay so now I'm going to go up on the gray you can see how the yellow plus the gray is sort of green. That's why we had to do the white on top. This part is way easier than the last step was. There we go. Okay. Now, we got a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna keep going. This is called Transparent. I'm sponsored by this company, Monument. They make these transparent paints, which remind me a lot of watercolor. I'm just gonna add a drop of orange right into the cup and a tiny drop again of my thinner cocktail. Just a drop. There we go. And we're gonna stir that in there. See, now that's gonna be a little bit more orange. And I need to go ahead and spray that all the way through. It's going to start out, it's going to start out yellow and it'll eventually get more and more orange. Maybe not. Cheers. Cheers, Manzo. Stick around. Yeah, thank you so much. And big, huge thanks to Wormwood Gaming for rating us. That was amazing. So for those of you guys who don't know, Worm would make Worm and Gaming, I believe, if it's the one I think it is, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, makes uh they made tables and different accessories um for hey Amberton, thank you for subscribing. For for gaming. Yep, that's them. Awesome. Thank you, Evil Morty. So let's give a shout out to Wormwood Gaming. Hold on, I'm gonna give a sec to do that. Do, do, let's see here. Bear with me. There's a shout out. There we go. I'm going to type this. Oh no, I dropped my brush. So I did a commission for them very early on for one of their, I think one of their first 
Kickstarter and it was it was really nice and with gaming it's still gaming right there we go okay there we go hopefully this works did I do it right yes <laughs> is that right they were last playing Ghost of Tsushima hopefully that's right they also do video games I didn't know that that's fantastic well, here, I'm going to go and follow Wormwood back so that if I can, I can raid you back sometime. Thank you. There we go. Follow, follow. All right, I'm following. Let me do the little bell so I get the alert. If you ever get a chance, when you follow somebody, do the little bell so that you get alerted to when they're streaming. I just got to check on the floor real quick. Oh, there's my brush. I'll be right back. I'm going to get the brush. So. All right. We're ready to do. Uh-oh. There goes my. Hmm. Shall I glue it back on? I shall. Problem is, I don't know where my accelerator is. And so I can't make sure this sticks fast enough. We'll just here. I'm gonna put this on and we'll let it sit for a little bit. Just finished up a paper Mario. <laughs> he streams all week. Awesome. Good, good, good. There we go. Started Ghost of Tsushima. I just I don't I don't stream any video games. Um, but I do play I do play Skyrim. I just started playing Skyrim. So that's cool. Okay, why is that not working? So, maybe I can find a small bit, bottle of accelerator somewhere. That's a bummer. Well, I'm not going to get that to stick on, but I can't, and I can't stop. I need to keep going with my orange. So we're going we're gonna to go to the next layer. Let's see if we can make this... Is it coming through? Oh, it's clogged already. Ghost like an Asian Skyrim. You like an Asian <laughs> Skyrim? Uh, so like, yeah, it's funny because, you know, I'm starting to play it. What is it? Eight, eight or nine years after it's yep, after it came out, but I've never played it before. There we go. There's our orange yellow. Wrinkle here. See how we're building up on that yellow? There's the next, there's the next layer. Try not to get any on the ends. That's what I'm trying not to do here. See? I'm trying to cover up that gray that's down there. Hurt Bag says, get some of the amazing texture mods, etc. And Skyrim still looks amazing. Yeah, I haven't even started playing with mods yet. I'm still playing kind of vanilla. I have ways to go. See how we're building our yellow? Now, again, the paint does build up, which means every now and then we need to take some thinner and get that off and clear that off so it doesn't plug up and start bubbling in the cup. It was a way ahead of its time, so it's still a very playable game. Yeah? Okay. You see where it's battered a little bit? Try to get rid of those little dots. I don't want dots. There we go. So I'm trying to soften the transition so it doesn't look like there's a line. 
between the yellow and the orange. It just goes and blends smoothly. There you go. I think the transparent orange is perfect for this because then we're going to, I'll show you guys, this is what I'm going for. This is kind of what I'm going for. So we're going to need to go up and through. This is going to be what our hair is going to look like. Yeah, aspiringly, you just walk away for just a little bit and now you're already amazed. How many bars do you use when you're, I think, so I'm not sure what bars mean, but I usually between the two and the three, if that makes sense. Color progression is cool. Thank you. And the, the trick for me is doing these short little bursts. Do you see how light this is? I can control how much I'm adding so much easier by doing it like that. And I can add these, you know, glazes. See, now we're getting paint. You can, t I can tell when it's starting to clog. That's why I need to put a little bit of thinner on it on the end. We talked a re or earlier in the program about how you can buy these little dental brushes in packs at the at the drugstore, and sometimes that's easy as well to keep things clean there we go so we're painting light to dark which makes things much much easier okay see we want the ends to be that bright yellow and the rest is not as big of a deal yeah it's already looking very cool Okay. I'm just doing a very, very light glaze over the yellow to warm up some of the yellow because my yellow is kind of weak, a little weak, because what happens is we primed over white and that made my yellow a little on the pastel side. So by adding this little glaze of orange just a little bit over the yellow, look at how we are making that beautiful blend. Okay, we're on, we're out. Look at that, we're out. So I'm gonna put a little thinner in the cup. I'm gonna blow that through all the way into this. This is called a dump pot. And now what? We're, we're ready for the next color, which we're gonna start adding in some reds. Let's do the transparent. We'll keep going with the transparent because again, we don't want to be opaque over this. So I've got I'm gonna, hmm, how am I going to do this? Okay, I've already got some yellow in here. Just going to take a tiny amount of this. Just a little bit, because I still have to. Because that's enough. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to add this red. Ooh, did you see how I almost didn't make the cup? Hmm. Okay, so there we go. Ooh. I don't know if that is what I want. So now I got dry paint on the side. Let me get that out real quick. Okay. Hmm. I think I will add a little bit of this in here. This is uh, it's called pure red. And I'm gonna add a little bit of orange with my transparent orange. So we can keep our color progression going. Red plus orange. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. 
makes this really nice, bright orange. Okay, I'm hoping this works. I need a little bit. Let's make some, a little bit of this cocktail so that way it will glaze for me because I just want to glaze it over that orange. I don't want it to be completely opaque. All right, we're ready. All right, now again, we always spray out. There we go. Ooh, that is a very fine glaze right there. So we know it's working. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to start up here where it's already going to be dark. That way, if I, you know, mess it up, it'll be okay. It's already working good. Come on, there we go. So, see? lost a little bit of our orange you can see that but I think in the long run it will be okay there's not a ton of orange in the photograph I have either this is the most important part is getting the, the blends on this part parts let's see it's looking good looking good okay what do you think so far so far so good I think it looks nice my idea let me show you the picture this is where I'm hoping to kind of go with this character so I may need to tone some of this down, actually. We're going to go, we're going to put, put a little thinner in there first. Yeah, thank you, Benjamin. <laughs> I appreciate the hype. We like excitement. We wish you had that much control. Like I said, it's, I mean, it's lots of little, tiny, little dots that we're building up. So you know what? I can make this darker. By just adding little more dots. Right? And so on. So it's just a little bit of practice. And also, can you see this trigger? This is a very tall trigger. That makes it easier too. Okay, I've got spray through brush cleaner in here. I'm going to move her out of the way so that way I don't get anything on there while I'm waiting. But yeah, mini splat. Try one of these. It's, I can't remember. Tall, I can't remember the name of it. But Badger makes this tall trigger that makes it uh, so much easier to gain control. So I'm in here. I'm just dumping the excess here. Yeah, Badger. I'm not. I'm not sponsored by them, but I really do like their product. Okay, we're gonna get. See all of this crud. We're gonna pull this all out. Brush crud. Schmutz, as we say in this channel. For those of you guys who do not speak Yiddish, we do a little bit of Yiddish word of the day every now and then. There we go. Pull all of that out. We don't want any of that in the airbrush because it will, it will go through the airbrush and clog it. So try to pull all of it out. 
and even this little bit in here dump that out as well I have said I have said it many, 78 times <laughs> we have a counter <laughs> all right see can you see the that's actually not too bad there's a few floaters in there so we'll dump that now we're getting somewhere look at that there's a little yellow at the bottom of the cup, but I think I can get that out pretty easily. Yep, that's good. Okay, now we always take fresh, fresh cloth. What's this? Is it clean? It's almost clean. Was it hard getting it? Yes, Sid, it was. Um, for me, because... So, so I wanted to, when I first started, I didn't know how to start. So I just, I, I messaged random dudes on the internet and it was kind of funny because they were like, what does she want? You know? <laughs> and I basically just kind of asked them to give me an airbrush lesson. And thankfully everybody was pretty nice and helpful. You know, um, I don't know. Oops, see now, I need to put more thinner through here, or more spray through. But it still took me a long time, and I took some classes. Do I, do I have my apron? Wait, I don't see my apron down here. I think I took it back upstairs. I do have a schmutz apron, but I, oh, do you see that? See, that's how we know it's not cleaned all the way. Always try to get it to where it's, it's blowing pure, pure airbrush cleaner. No more paint. See, there we go. It's, that's what we want. Now, what's next? Next is the next color, which we didn't have to do that all the way through. Let's look at this yeah, we want this beautiful burgundy. So I'm going to mix a burgundy with my little cuppy cup. There, that's already got red in the bottom of it, too. Perfect. So what do we do? We're going to use some black. Do I have transparent black candy? Yes, I do. Okay. It did, it took me, I took a several, so here's the funny thing. Do you guys, do you know who Angel Geraldes is? He does all of the videos um, on YouTube now, and he's like got an, an Instagram. He's really cool. Um, anyway, he taught a master class airbrush class, and I took it, and I probably should not have, because I was not a master class. <laughs> But I thought, you know what? I'm just going to jump in. I didn't know any different. He tells me, he goes, Shoshi, for you, I want you to practice the airbrush. Circle dot in the line. <laughs> and so I went and I got those that you can download airbrush tutorials. Oh, you know what? Look at this. So do you see this? I'm trying to make a burgundy with the black and the red, and it came out okay. But it needs a it needs a tiny drop of purple to make it a little bit more rich. Do I have any purple? Where is it? Here it is. This is my transparent. Just some tiny bit of transparent purple. Oh, just barely enough. But yeah, it. Once I took his class, I, I downloaded some of those um, airbrush practice sheets. You can get those online. Oh yeah, that's the right color. Yeah. <laughs> and the sheets made such a difference. So hang on, I'm gonna get these sheets for you if I can find something. Oh yeah, there we go. Is that? Is that a burgundy? Yep. Ooh, that's so pretty. Let's add a little thinner. No. Yes. Yes, a little thinner. I'm gonna get these sheets for you in a second. I need to mix this. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So that was like two parts black, 
two parts red, one part purple. Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna get these uh, airbrush practice sheets. They're so awesome. I'll find the link for you. I think it's free too. Free airbrush. Hopefully my Google will still be able to find it. Is this it? I think this might be it. Yeah, this, I think this is it. Take a look at this. I'm going to cut this out. Um, so it's air sick how to. I'm going to post this in chat. Can I post it? There we go. There we go. Go to go to this link and they have those airbrush exercises and they helped me a ton. A ton. Alright, we're ready for the next spot. I've got a lot of stuff on my desk here. Alright, so this is phase two. Phase we did yellow and then we did orange and now we did red and now we're doing Oh, do you see that spider? That's the thinner going through. There we go. That's what we want. Look at how dark that is. That's the black coming through. There we go. And then they, see, if we had gone straight to the straight to the model, we would have gotten black on it and messed it up. So always blow through. I'm starting at the darkest top of the head. I'm doing this glaze. And already it's looking beautiful, huh? Oh, you came over in the raid. That's awesome, Lando. See, we're going to go up into the crevices. Oh, no. I lost some of my yellow and my red. That's okay. We're going to get this part in the front. That's all going to be the really dark part. And then the back. Okay. The front looks good. And I can always go back over with some yellow there. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay. And we can hand brush some of the other highlights back on too. But the, the part by her, the crown of her head is the part of one of the darkest. See how that's looking really dark and pretty? You're not hearing, wait, wait, wait. I don't know if it's on. You're getting feedback. It's really low and not that much. Blending in with the back net. Okay. Well, I'm almost done. Let's see. I don't know what the feedback could be from. It's not just on your end. It's the airbrush pump. Do you hear it now? Because if it's, Probably the airbrush pump. Do I have a? I do have a browser open. Somebody is thinking. Thank you so much. Well, wait. Do I? Yes, I do. Soup there. That should help. Let me know if that mate if that fixed it. Because I did have an airbrush open. Oh, I got this one open too. Hold on. Nope, that one's muted. I can still close that anyway. All right, you don't hear it now? <laughs> That's awesome. Yay. Do you like how I got that really dark part by the crown of her head? I really like that. <gasps> that was a lot. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yay, Inky John. <laughs> Save the day. All right, I need to do something. I want to.
try to get in here and do very small, see little small dots in here. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I want to go in here to try to get those. Let's see if I can smooth that out a little bit. There we go. Because it is a glaze, I can, I can do it a little bit. See, we're glazing into those shadows. Yeah, I like that. All right, I'm gonna stop because I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up if I go any farther. Okay. What type of formula do I use when I'm glazing? So this is what I've been using. It, it's, I either use this or I use just straight up thinner. But this is a combination of airbrush medium, airbrush thinner, and drying retarder. retarder. So it's a, a little bit of everything. Look at that beautiful color. What can I put this on? Do I have anything else? I don't. Okay, so this is going to get... I'm just going to dump this in here. Because I have a bunch. That's a beautiful color. So that's my formula. I think I'm done with the airbrush for that. Yeah, I'm done with the airbrush. So give me one second. Wait, I still gotta clean it out. So I gotta keep my mask on until it's done being cleaned. All right, we're gonna use water. Because water is cheaper than thinner and cleaner. Hold on, put that over here. And we'll dump. And again. There we go. So, there we go. We got the start of something. I'm going to pull out all of the... Whoops. Hey! An evil bucket! Hello! Welcome! Thank you for following. Thank you for all the lovely welcome. I'm off to work, but I'm definitely watch the next stream. Thank you. I hope to see you back, Mini Splat. All of you, I hope to see all of you back. If you haven't given me a follow, give me, like, just hit that follow button. We'd love to have you back. Put the little bell on so you know when the next stream is. We stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. And on the first... And the 16th, we do giveaways. So we do follower giveaways on the 1st, and um, we do subscriber giveaways on the 16th. All right, we're almost done. Patience, patience. Aw, uh, thank you, Mini Slat. Oh, I love that wormwood, wormwood uh, emoji. That's amazing. I love it. All right, so watch this. This is the spray through airbrush cleaner that we're going to use to clean this through. Usually, I'm just going to spray it through first, and then I'm going to wipe it out. You got it too, Lando. That's great. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is where I can just wipe out the last bit. Transparent cleans up. Oop, geez. Good thing I didn't spray my face. That would be all over my glasses. Hi, Stephen Hugh. How are you? How is the weather where you're at? Is it warm? I'm going to put a little bit of the spray through cleaner on my towel here. Try to get the cup clean ish. Try to get the brush clean ish. You're part of the Win fam, so now you're glad they raided another friend's you. Oh, me too. Well, like I said, I've worked with Win uh, um, Wormwood before. Way, way, it was a long time ago when they did their first Kickstarter. Uh, they contacted me and commissioned me to paint some, or actually, you know what? They didn't. They, they licensed some minis from me. I, or maybe, how did I do it? I'm trying to remember now. I can't remember now. I 
I think they painted some mini, they, I painted some minis for them or sent them some minis I already had painted. And that was pretty cool. I can't remember. Still in winter. Oh, that's right. You're in the other hemisphere. I forget. All right, get all the sweat off my face. Let is, let's show everybody the hair now with the girl. Let's get all these bottles out of the way now that I'm not using them. You can shut the airbrush off too. There we go. Bottles. So the, for those of you guys who missed it, the, the flow, the flow cocktail that I told you about this thinner cocktail is thinner, a uh, flow improve, oh, sorry, thinner retarder and airbrush medium. So it's actually, it works great for me. I don't use it very much, um, but I use it a little bit. Okay. Where did my hair go? Here it is. So there we go. Oh my gosh, that's going to be amazing. We do need to bring in some of those red reds a little bit, but I think it's pretty much how I want it. What do you think? Now we just need to get her other hair the same colors. Okay. We did her skin. We got it back to being the gray. I know it's pretty, isn't it? So pretty. I have to, I have to fix a few things. Yes. <laughs> You're a sucker for redheads. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me put that away for a second. Um, did I keep, I think I kept my red. Did I throw it away? There it is. Hey, I kept it. Okay. Where's my brush? I'm going to start with um, a little bit. I'm going to start with white, just like I did before. I'm going to use this primer. Ooh, it's very runny. So what we'll do is we'll get a nice thin brush like this one. I'm going to take my glasses off. So you guys know when glasses are off, I cannot see to see who's talking. So if you want to get my attention, you need to do at show she's minis. Now this is, like I said, this is the white primer. I'm just going on here. Same thing we did with the, with the airbrush. We're just brushing it on. I might need to get a smaller brush. It's whip trip Friday. Hold on. I forgot to, t I forgot to announce that again. Every Friday, if you guys have anything that you want to show off, that is creative. It could be your gardening. It could be your pie that you baked. It could be your minis that you're painting. A lot of people show off minis. Um, it could be your other hobbies that you're into. Um, it could be your cat or your kids. Um, Whip Trip Friday, we do this. And so it's just a really nice community booster. So everybody gets to share what they've been doing and they can do a little hype for themselves. So if you have something you want to share, go ahead and there we go. There's the link. You can join our discord and put it into live image gallery. That's how I know where to get your stuff. There we go. Live image gallery. We'll do that at five o'clock. Let's see what time it is right now. It's currently 351. So at five o'clock, we'll look at everybody's cool stuff. And everybody better have a lot of stuff to post because uh, I've been gone a little bit and we haven't had a whip trip. And so I want to see what you've been doing while I've been gone. So no excuses, anybody. 
There we go. This is also already looking really good. Getting the ends because those are going to all go yellow. By the way, can you hear my voice get scratchy a little bit? Um, we have a hydrate hydrate command so that if you hear me sounding a little crap scratchy say Shoshi hydrate which I'll do that in one second here there we go See, somebody used it. Yep, take time to drink. Okay, I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna put this down here. So I can, everybody else, we need to do a stretch break too. Periodically throughout the stream, we do stretch break and hydrate. Look at my face, it's covered with the marks from my mask. That'll help. All right, everybody get up and stretch especially if you've been sitting more than an hour. See, that already feels good. I don't have the big crackles like I used to. It's because my I've been taking care of my back. That's much better. So if you've watched my stream before, you know that like before I went on my break, my back was cracking like crazy. It hasn't been in a while, so that's really good. Gecko, please. Okay, it's time to get out of gecko. That's another thing we do on the stream. I'm going to get out of gecko. Uh, let's see who is available. We have African fat tail geckos. Come here, ye. This biscuit. Wait, let me get peppercorn since she's right back here. There we go, there's peppercorn. <laughs> Biscuit's like, I don't like all that light anyway, so don't get me out. So this is my African fat tail gecko peppercorn. She is three years old and they live to be about 15. And they really like to just hide and eat crickets. There she is, squeak, 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 squeak. Can't help it. You're such a good girl. <laughs> She's looking. Yeah, I have another one that's peach color and her name is Ginger Biscuit. I gave her a British name because I thought Ginger Cookie didn't sound as good. Come here, Biscuit. Oh, I heard a little hiss. She didn't like that. Are you hissing on me? Anyway, there's there's Ginger Biscuit. She did a little hiss on me, so I might put her back right away. I'm going to miss this just a minute so they have a little humidity. There we go. They are from West Africa. They live in an arid climate, but they are used to like laying um, in little caves and rocks and things. And so they're used to a nice, humid, humid environment. You like seeing the geckos? Good. I'm glad. I like, I like that you guys like to see them. All right. So we got some of the white painted here. Where's my brush? Here it is. I'm going to put headset on so I can hear the music with you guys and, and maybe have some chill time. There we go. Much better. Very nice. Glasses are off again.
This music suits the sculpt. There we go. If I can get in there. You went to the Tennessee Aquarium two weeks ago, and so you, you loved all the reptiles and other critters. You got to tag me? Oh, yeah. I would have liked to see that. I like aquariums. All right, we got enough, I think. Let's go to this side real quick. Let's just get this. That's definitely going to be yellow. There's a little piece of something here. I can get that off. There we go. Oops, wrong brush. There we go. So I want to show you. So I looked up to see what would be the best color for her armor. And I was like, I don't really want to do a cold armor like a like a silver. What would it look like if I did gold on her um, armor? And I'll show you. I looked up drow. And I found this amazing painting. Um, I'll show it to you guys. Let's see. I'll show you this painting. Yeah, you can share the, share the album link in uh, Discord for the whip trip. We'll look through it then. Does that sound good? We'll take a little extra time and do it then. All right, whip trips. Wait, wait, wait. Did I close the link? Nope, here it is. All right, take a look at this. This is the gold armor. Isn't that neat? Against that like dark skin and that's kind of what I'm thinking will look really cool. It almost makes me want to do true metals, but I didn't do true metals on any of the others. Hi, Frick Dino. When's the whip trip? It's going to be in one hour. About one hour or so. Okay. Let's fix this. All right. Wait, I got to fix one more thing. Hold on. There we go. All right. So let's finish her yet her hair. Let's do, we're going to mix the same colors over again. And I'm going to go back in and do, Ooh, that's a lot of yellow. Yikes. Thank you. Did you see the hair here? Look at this Steve Ame, Texas. So that's going to get blended into that. We're going to work on it anyway. All right, so here's this yellow. <laughs> Hi, Fred. How are you? Oops. See how bright that yellow is? Man. I need a little bit of the transparent orange again. I'm going to mix some of that with this yellow here. There we go. There, that's much, much better. I'm going to go over all of the yellow so that it's a warm, it's a warm yellow.
Now, can you see where I accidentally got a little white down in there? I can fix that. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Love it. Just with this little bit of black, I can go back in here and clean up some of the spots that I got where I got too much over. See that? I'm going to take some of that purple and stick that down there. That's that purple red that I was glazing over stuff. Now that it's it's different, it, it behaves differently with the airbrush, but I really I need to put this on. Let's see if we can use some of this red. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That red coming back in there. Breck says, I am doing all right, just melting away in the heat. I know my friend in the Netherlands, Sneaky, said that she was melting too. It's 37 Celsius, is that right? Is it the same in, in Deutschland and in, in Germany? It's been perfect here. It's been beautiful. All right, I need more orange and more red. So this is what I got to be careful about. I want to blend this with that yellow without losing it completely. See, we can go back in with that yellow and pull up some of those curls. And the red, red. Where's the red, red? Hero red. There. Zombie says, looking phenomenal. What type of brushes do I use? You know what? I don't go use any specific brushes. I have a whole bunch. This one is a Raphael. This one is a Bombwick. I have Game Envy. I kind of, I'm all over the place with brushes, to be honest, because I, I have a hard time. I, I wear them all out. I just wear them all out. So it makes it difficult for me to kind of be brush loyal. I'm, I'm just hard on all of them. All right, where's that purple? Let's put that purple in there. See, we're going to blend that in to the side of her head. Beautiful. There's, this is that same purple that I can use. I'm glad I saved it. Saved me from having to mix it twice. I like that. Okay. I, the only reason why I'm holding her hair on like that is so I can see how it's going to look with the rest of it. I'm pulling a little bit of transparent orange every now and then, right? That goes over that white. All right, let me flip it. 
affect this white. See? Woo! Don't know what's gonna happen with that. We'll just let that be a happy, happy little accident. Let's get in here with some reds. Oh, that's lovely. I need the orange to bridge that. Bridge this yellow and bridging the yellow and the purple together. Oh, I made a mess. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit, I think. There's better. Hmm. Need to let it dry. Let's hold it up. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Oh. Oh. So pretty. Does it look like a... That's really cool. Okay. I forgot this last little bit of yellow on the end of her hair here. And you can see that's too yellow, so I need to mix that transparent with it. Once that dries some more, I can go back with the yellow again and pull it back through. Hey, yeah. I had to really think about this project for a long time. I left this one last because I really had to paint, almost paint this one in my head a lot before I started it. And I'm glad I did. Let's work on this. You see, we've got our base. We're gonna get in here and do all this beautiful purple stuff. Watch this. We're gonna shade down and get some of these lovely shadows. It'll be really rich. We try to do a little bit when we were airbrushing it, but see how that's going to look? 37 Celsius in Amarillo. Whew, that's a lot. It's hot. You have 30, yeah, 37 is in, in the Netherlands right now. And you have 91 Fahrenheit. Oh my goodness, that's still pretty warm. I hope that this will dry not you know how sometimes it'll dry lighter than it is right we don't want it to dry a lot lighter so I put this into the shadows like this and now we're going to water feather this out just like so. Beautiful.
Oops. See, now that's too much on my brush. I know you thought it was, you thought it looked good before, but now we, we're, we're making these, these shadows even more uh, saturated with our color. And you're going to love it. See that? We can even add a little bit of black later. These are these are the transparents mixed together. This is transparent black, transparent purple, and a transparent red all mixed together. And now I'm going to add a little bit of orange over here. Transparent orange. Because as we get closer to the yellow, we need that to blend out more. So as a highlight, I can use this pure red and I'm going to find some of these volumes where it's curling up. And I'm going to just hit that like this. Mmm, pretty. Crazy. Oh, it's so pretty. I love pa I love painting hair. So this is a really, really good tutorial for painting hair. See how those highlights look now? Here, I'm going to skip this song because we've heard it again. We've heard it already. I love it, but it's, it's in here a couple times. Let's keep it. There. Hoist it. See how that looks? It's starting to look. We're going to keep hitting the volumes. Looks really going to look beautiful. <coughs> I love painting um, with really vivid colors like this too. There's something about this series that inspires me so much and it brings out the best of my work, I really think. Luminous is going to be happy. What do you think? Okay, so I feel like now we're needing a little bit more orange again. But what do you think so far? Now this is the transparent. We can actually go back in a little bit more yellow on some of these. that yellow down and then blend it in with the orange. Did 
Da -da. Okay. I need to look at chat because I know I get I get into the zone. And then I get quiet and you guys get quiet and we all stop talking. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Make sure you do exclamation point whip trip. Get ready to put your stuff in the whip trip gallery. Since people are kind of zoning out right now, I may do our whip trip in a minute. So go ahead and get ready now. Put your stuff in there. We might go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if you like what I'm doing, you want me to keep going. I want to hear you say so. So far, so good, huh? You were in the zone. I was. <laughs> Okay, so here's what, yeah, that's what we'll do. We're, we're going to go ahead and do whip trips in a minute. What I'm going to need to do, because I can already tell I'm fixing like little scratches and stuff. I'm going to have to take this outside and spray it down with some, um, what do you call it? Not primer. Uh... not primer I don't know um fixative fixative some varnish I'm gonna put varnish on this so that way yeah so that way I can uh keep it from scratching because it's it seems like it's scratching real bad right now silence of amazement you're just trying to paint something <laughs> oh good <laughs> well I'm glad you're trying to paint though Silence of amazement is fine with me. Okay. I need to go back in here a few more times and get some of that blend. See that? That's beautiful. Oh, do you see these spots? All of this needs to be red because it's it's kind of green right now and I don't want that flip it this way see that already pops it that purple it's that little bit of purple that's in there that's contrasting with that yellow okay Okay. Oh, I love it. See, and you can blend that. I want to see what this looks like on her once I get this painted a little bit more. I like this purpley color so much. I'm in the zone. I am. That's a good sign, though. Okay. Shall we put this on and see how she looks? I feel like I don't need to do a ton to the front. Let's put a little bit, a little bit of yellow. On these curls 
Uh oh. You see where I got some meh? Here, let's use this pure red. Watch this. Make a mistake look like it's on purpose. Didn't, wait, didn't Electric Eve have her hair like this at one point in time? I feel like she did something similar. She does the best hairstyles too. All right. Aspiringly says, right below that red, you just fixed up. There's some purple that got on a yellow section. Where is it? Right below the red? Is it here? Can you tell me again? Because I think I missed it. So is it down here? Lower? Hold on, let me blend this real quick. Lower left middle. Lower, okay, so is it, is it here? Oh, I think I see it. I see it, I see it. It's this bit. Yeah. We can put some orange in there. And blend it. Now some water and then push it back. Is that better? Did I fix it? I still don't see it. Is that it? Wait, is this it? Nope, below that, right below that blended section. Oh, here, I see it. This bit right there. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we might not be able to hide that completely, so we can hide it with some some orange. That's gonna be good enough. So pretty, I love it. Notice that I'm doing little kind of wicks of that red through her hair. Okay. So it needs to have a little time. This turned out so much better than I could have imagined. Some of this down in the bottom needs a little work with the yellow. Let's see if I can help, help it. Might need to make it a little bit more orangey. Yeah, that's better. That's better. The airbrush speeds everything up so much. And literally, I have so much trouble painting yellow without an airbrush. I don't know that I would have attempted it without it. Well, you know, I would have just done it completely differently, I think. See, I'm trying to go in here, get these greenish areas to be a little bit more golden yellow. Lovely. Oh, look at how much of a difference that little bit of, um, what do you call it? That little bit of darkness in, in between. So let's take a look. How close did we get? How close did we get, guys? We need a, maybe a little bit more red. What do you think? A little bit more red? 
or burgundy maybe maybe a little bit more burgundy purple yellow seems to require you either undercoating with just shy of 500 layers i know yeah exactly well you can you can fudge it a little bit okay i'm gonna just do a little bit of that burgundy over that red Burgundy, yeah, I think so too. Just a little bit. I'll pull it into these shadows just a little bit more. What happened? Ah, Zyolka. Wait, Zyolka. I think that's how. I'm not sure how to say your name, so tell me if I'm mispronouncing it. Zywelka. I like that. Thank you for following. Let's do a little bit more up in here. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, I think a little bit more red to highlight some spots. It pops the bur it actually pops the burgundy a little bit more. Yep, that's what it needed. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Hi, Lady B. How are you? Oh, I just about stuck myself in my eye with my own <laughs> with my own glasses. All right, I'm not thrilled with her hair on the sides of her face yet. Like I said, we needed to we need to work on that bit a little bit. There we go. So we're bringing it back. We need some more oranges. In that but I have to wait for that yellow to dry first that's pretty boy they that's pretty all right it is about time it's 4 30 so we're gonna do whip trips right now because Think it's a good time we got a lot done i will probably keep working on this to refine it yeah because i just i found some more little schmutzy areas in here we'll get it anyway so let's go ahead and take a look at see what everybody's been doing it's whip trip friday hold on a second it's like painting a sunset on hair. It is, it is. I mean, look at that. We got it though. I mean, I, I killed the back. I need to work a little bit on the front. I almost think I need to get rid of that yellow and just do, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. We might need to get rid of that yellow altogether. Although that's gorgeous, isn't it? I just want to show you real quick since we got the other part of her painted 
what the rest is going to look like. So this is, oh, I really hope I can get this silly putty off. Oh my gosh. It's going to be fun. Oh no. There we go. It's coming off. Thank God. I was scared. Silly putty is, is nice. Because it doesn't stick to stuff too well. But this is a very rough texture. So I was worried I was going to have, there, it's coming right out. Bomb. Okay. So can you see this lava texture? That I paste, I painted that onto her, um, her dress. This is with a lava paste, so that she can have her little lava dress, and we'll have all the little molten bits. But anyway, she's gonna look so cool. I'm already loving her. So we need to be really careful about where we put the lava parts and her. Her, her, um, her metal outfit too. Let's go. Yep, there's the link, Lucy LeFay. You think more orange, mid-tone oranges will make the yellow look better? Possibly. Yeah, we, we we didn't have time to get that, but I I had to get it yellow to go back to orange because it wasn't it wasn't able to do that. Lady B, we don't we don't promote self promote in this channel. That's against the rules. I'm I'm very happy for you, but it's not allowed in this channel. All right, so now we are gonna go to let's see here. Let's see. I'm gonna go to we're gonna go to whip trips. All right, and it's in Triptych Gallery. Hold on a second. Let's see who has put stuff inside there. There it is, Live Image Gallery. I found it. All right, today is August 7th. Oh my gosh, that's how long it's been since I've been into the live image gallery today today okay here we go today oh my gosh rumble posted a red panda okay hold on i'm gonna pull up these links for you guys give me one second <gasps> that bird oh you know i love some birds okay and Spear has something really cool. Whoa, you guys are posting the best stuff. Aspire. Okay. Here we go. And then, thank you, John. Whip trips are the perfect place to self promote, but not in chat. There we go. You can promote all your work. Okay, let's take a look at this. Lava paste is a good idea, isn't it? Okay. And Let's do whip trips. So this is the, isn't that amazing? I am dying. It's so cute. Red pandas are just the most cutest things. So, so apparently Rumble went to the zoo and he posted a couple pictures. He got this beautiful red panda and this bird. Do you know what kind of bird this is? Is it native to the UK? I want to know where it's from. It's gorgeous. It's very beautiful. Do you know what it is, Rumble? <laughs> yeah, I like run. I love. I love red pandas too. A red pandas from China? I cannot remember. Let me know where this bird is from. 
and then we'll move on to the next next cute slide or next slide rather it won't be cute but it'll be nice <laughs> okay we got a little bit of a delay so I'm waiting okay we'll go to the next one then so this this is crazy this photo is Jupiter in transit I think it's like conjunct conjunct not transit conjunction uh, so it's oh and it, with its own moons so Jupiter and four moons that isn't that is not a rubbish photo at all spear that's amazing and I can't believe you caught that with your phone isn't it technology amazing it's crazy it's so good I'm just blown away Oh, it's not a native bird. I can't remember its name. My wife, Double Fruity, is a twitcher and would know, though. Yeah, find out for me, because I'd like to know. Whisper it to me when you know. Okay, take a look. Let's see. Next photo. Oh, that's beautiful. Com is that comic style? Let's see who did this. This is a spire. Beautiful. I really like how you've done the Yay! armbands. Oh, uh, thank you for following Dog Joys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I like his little cheeky look on his face. Do you see that sneaky look? <laughs> That's great. Okay, and then... Oh, wow. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, I gotta find out about this one. Hold on a second. So this is by Rumble. He says, last weekend's work. Haven't had a chance to continue this week from Blood Care at Nights. First of all, his expression, he's like Grumpy Kitty and he's got a little armor hat. And, oh, it's just so nice, Rumble. Thank you for sharing that. I love everything down to the bricks. He's so naturalistic and really alive feeling. I love him. Can, if I can make one tiny suggestion Maybe a little bit of a light reflection in his eyes. And that's the only thing I think I would change. Yeah, it is. It's definitely Grumpy Cat, isn't it? Oh, and Inspiringly says it was comic style. The model is Relic Blade Moldorf Shadow Foot. Oh, that's cool. Let's go back to that real quick. I just want to show. Uh, what did you say? Relic, Relic Blade Moldorf Shadow Foot is this one. He is awesome. He's got a, I just noticed the potion under his arm. That's great. Good job. All right. And then so Lando has some things. Let's see. Whoops. There we go. Lando. This, he's sharing hobbies. Says, um, also been out of town and had company when I returned. So behind on my hobbies been planning stuff for my D&D &D game tonight. How do you, how are you liking, how are you liking this book that, um, these are the five, are these five E and look at there, there's a Wormwood. There's Wormwood who rated us. Thank you so much, Wormwood. We're doing a little, little hype for them for rating us. Um, but yeah, how are you liking that game? Pretty cool. So this is by Inky John's, this right? Inky John says, Wood Elf Wizard by Cyborg Minis and Necron Overlord. I just started yesterday. So is this the Wood Elf? Oh, he's cool. That's cool. Where's the other one? Oh, that's the back. Very nice. Ah, there we go. There's the Cyber Lord. Necron Overlord, you started. Okay, there we go. See, do we have another picture? No, we don't. Okay. And then we're going to look real quick at Lando's aquarium photo album. Give me one second here to pull this up. Whoop. I don't, I might want it. Nope. It's not available. I'll have to, well, other people can take a peek at it. Okay. It looks like it wasn't available for me to show off, but other people can, can look on the discord if you'd like. Okay. This bazooka Joe's puppy. There's, oh, so cute. 
Ralphie Bazooka Joe. Thank you for sharing that. We need some pet pictures. I love them. Yeah. Lando says the wild mount is one where my game is set. Oh, cool. The books are critical role setting for 5e. Nice. Yay. Sid was here just a little heart. <laughs> You gotta be friends with me on Facebook. That makes sense. Then that's no, it's fine. It's a teddy bear. It is a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear doggy. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I'm gonna um, take these down and put some more up, and we're gonna look at more. I need to post one of my own too. I I want to show you guys the geese that came to my feeder today. Where's my phone? Cause oh, you'll get to see my bird garden. Hold on, where are we? Let me post this to the gallery. Where's the Discord? Hey Siri, open Discord. There we go. Okay. Bear with me here. I'm gonna I'm gonna post my picture and then we'll we'll look at some more some more live image gallery pictures real quick. There we go. Send. All right, now let's get these other ones opened up. We've got Pun Expected's third attempt at using a mini miniature oils on miniatures. What? Unexpected. Okay, you guys are going to love this. Oh, and there's mine. Good. We don't have too many more. All right, take a look at Pun Expected. This is his third attempt of using oils, and you wouldn't be able to tell because it's so freaking good. Look at this. Look. Let's do a little zoom. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Well, you're kicking its butt. I can't wait to see you do, you know, some some serious like detailing and things like that when you're It looks like you're still doing a little base coating. Let me look up here. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful blend. This is oils, guys. So he's he's using oils. Very, very nice. And last but not least, so these cheeky geese came up to my feeder this morning and they kind of pooed everywhere around my feeder. Thankfully, I got rid of all that. But they want this, there's a little tray right down at the bottom. I feed I feed the squirrels. I'm trying to attract the crows. Crows have not come back in a while. But the geese are like, oh, num, num, num. Anyway, so we'll see what happens. Um, here's the other part. These are the other pieces of my feeder. Nobody touches this, this uh, water bottle up here. They like the bird bath, though. The bird bath they're happy with. So as long as they want something. Also, I have a hummingbird feeder that nobody has touched, but it's brand new. So hummingbirds haven't found it yet. So that is that. That is all the whip just If anybody has anything else. Oh, you put yours up in the wrong Discord group. Okay, so you got it in the right Discord. Okay, we'll put up yours and we're gonna we're gonna look at Brad Dino's pieces in just a second here. Your sister and mom bird watch? Yeah, I'm I've got into not just bird watching, but like total nature watching when I'm when I'm watching my garden. I I keep track of all the butterflies. And the insects and the dragonflies, everything that comes by. Yeah. Geese are evil. <laughs> they're not evil. They're just really populous. You know, they're just yeah. I don't I don't mind the geese. I just don't want them to take all the food. They can have some of it. Okay, Frere, that is so cute. It's a little babushka girl. Hold on, I'm gonna open these links. She's picking her nose. That's so cute. Okay. We got one more. Yep. Hold on, I'm going to open these pictures by Frick. All right, take a look at these. Here we go. These are going to be cute. You guys are going to like this. So, how cute is she? That's such a nice bust. 
I do, I have one little thing that is already probably too late to change. It's that the pull between her and the plinth seems a little long. But again, that's not a big deal. And the rest of the painting looks amazing. Look at that, it's so good. I wanna see the front, there we go, cute. It's so cute. Dernier Lich. Is that the last picture? Let me double check. Yep, that was the last one. All right, guys. Thank you for sharing. I'm so glad you guys could make it for the stream and we had a really good time. Let's go ahead and look for somebody awesome to start rating. Hang on one second. I'm going to put in my end stuff. All right, let's look for somebody cool who we're going to raid. Come back on Monday, guys. We're going to, it is going to be, um, we're going to keep working on this model and it'll be a good day. We'll be chill. I have to open up Twitch and find out who we're going to raid. Stick with me while we do this so we can give them a nice, really cool raid here. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and raid Nalindi. There we go. She's painting a Warhammer. It's one of those Wraith guys. It's really cool. Go ahead and punch that raid button. Join that raid. We're going to go ahead and raid Nalindi. She's awesome. And we will see you again on Monday, 2.30 to 5.30 GMT minus 6. And I will see you guys then. Bye, guys. Have a good one.